Hello, peeps, and welcome to, oh my god, it's two nostalgia videos in two weeks. What the hell is going on, Spec? Well, there's a very simple explanation for that, and that is, I actually kind of feel like doing another nostalgia video after the last one. Yeah, yeah, good enough reasoning, I think. Anyway, today, Takeshi's Castle, or Fuu Takeshi Yo. Um, yeah, I don't speak Japanese very well. Yeah, if you don't know what Takeshi's Castle is, it was basically Wipeout, only Japanese, and it had Craig Charles presenting, so yeah, better than Wipeout in every single way, I think. Right, enough waffle, I'm going to press play and see if this is actually any good as I remember it to be. 3, 2, 1, and play. Ah, uh, yes, hello Craig Charles, you beautiful man. Oh my god, what the hell's that? Okay, I don't remember this, this these drawings. Yeah, this is literally 80s, isn't it? Ah, oh, North Korea propaganda at work here, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, Japanese Indiana Jones, Japanese dominoes, Japanese cannonballs, and yeah, that's General Takeshi. Oh my god, no, do not look at those skirts. Hey, it's the Honeycomb Maze, I remember this. I remember it quite a lot. Like, half the shows that I watched of Takeshi's Castle basically had this bloody game in. Oh god, this is going to be really hard to narrate on, considering the fact that Craig Charles is voicing this, and at the same time there's Japanese commentary in the background. <laughs> oh, this is entertaining, I must say. Oh, right, don't splash at them, you prick, they're only doing their jobs. Um... Yeah, Craig, can you, like, translate Japanese? Because, you know, I'm guessing that what they would be saying is really, really funny, but... Yeah. What the hell? What the hell's going on? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, this is actually really funny. Yeah, okay, I did not expect that. Oh, my God, he's actually done it. Clearly, he cheated. Um, okay... Yeah, she's clearly drunk. My god, this is so funny. <laughs> yeah, I think that there's like two reasons to why this is really funny. One, it's Japanese and, you know, it's all over the top parody fun. And two, Craig Charles is actually just enjoying it with us, which is nice. Okay, that is clear proof that speed is everything. If these are actual stones, then I can only imagine the amount of lawsuits that the production company had to go through. What the hell was that? Why was there a sound effect there? Uh, okay, yeah, she ain't gonna do well. That is very clear fascism there, that a person of that body type is doing stepping stones. Ah, Craig's ridiculous replays, I remember that. <laughs> uh, hold, on. hold on. Is there like a live studio audience in the background? I think there is. Yeah, yeah, there is. What the hell? Why? No, no, he's got, he's got a chance, Craig. Ugh. Jesus, I, I just love Craig Charles. I'm not sure if I would actually like this as much if Craig wasn't, you know, voicing it. And the only reason why I like Craig Charles so much is because he was the presenter of Robot Wars. And Robot Wars will forever be my favourite TV show. <laughs> okay, this is very clearly a impossible task. Hmm, I wonder if Craig doesn't have a script for this. Oh my god, someone actually proved me wrong. Oh, wait, that was it? Just one bloke managed to get it? Yeah, and then many people start running for no reason. Like, why? Oh my god, what's up with your nose? <laughs> oh god, we don't want to see your pubes, mate. I mean, I know that might be a thing in Japan, but oh well. Oh god, everything's moving at such a fast pace, I've got barely any time to react to this. Yeah, I still feel a little creeped out that those cheerleaders are still there. Yeah, don't showboat in the middle, you prick. Well done, mate. Um... One thing that I don't particularly like about this, what I've seen so far, is that we don't actually know who these contestants are. Like, we don't know, you know, the names and whatnot. I mean, I know that this is the UK version of a Japanese game show, but still. Uh, Craig, I don't want to know. Seriously, this is all just a massive spoiler. Oh, gee, okay. Seriously, how did that not hurt? Come on, get on with it, pink pajamas. <laughs> pink pajamas. See my rings? What? What was this? Okay, yeah, random explosion sound effect for no reason. Pinky Lee. What the hell's this? Are, they, are these two contestants fighting each other, or are they fighting like a guard or something for the castle? No. Oh, what the hell's going on? Oh god, we don't want to see your nipples, mate. <laughs> oh, Craig took the words right in my mouth then. Yeah, this is literally just sumo, isn't it? 
Yeah, I don't know how sumo works. I mean, I know there's like a ring there. Hold on, so the balls consist of like three, four sumo wrestlers. And one of them is really, really good, but the other three are really shit. Okay, so quite clearly there's no chronological order in these contestants. Like, I'm not recognising a single contestant from a previous round. So quite clearly these are just random games. And why are those cheerleaders still there? I, d I don't quite understand. What the hell? Why does that man have boobies for a hat? <laughs> Oh, bloody sound effects. Yeah, that was funny, according to the live studio audience watching this. Okay, so there's like 12 more people left, I think. Oh my god, that is the sweeper arm from the Wipeout series, isn't it? Oh my god, it literally is. I think we know where Wipeout got its ideas from. All these games are like really varied. That's what I really like about this. Hmm, what if someone has like a massive fall? To the point where they completely miss the water and just land on the grass. Oh god, that's horrible. And why the hell are the cheerleaders still cheering? Uh, Craig, don't say things like that. This is 2018, not 2002. We don't, you know, question why boys wear skirts anymore. We just go along with it. Wow, okay. Yeah, well done, man. Well done, whoever you are. Oh, showdown. This is the final round. Um, yeah. More North Korea propaganda. Oh my god, the final six get to drive Daleks. What the fuck is this? What is this? <laughs> okay, yeah, there's Japanese narrator and everything in the background. So I just don't understand what the hell this is. Like, do they just try and fire at the contestants? Do the contestants actually need to be going somewhere? Do they need to go to the end or something? Oh yeah, they need to raid the castle, don't they? But... But they're already in the castle. And that's it. Oh, writers. Oh, so it was a script. Oh, but Craig Charles did most of the script. So, oh, well, I can do with that. Okay, so the last 25 minutes of my life made no fucking sense at all. And I'm happy with that. Very happy indeed. Okay, so that was season one. Now let's look at season four. Because I want to see if there's any actual progression here. Obviously, when I mean progression, I of course mean progression from the UK version of the show. Considering that Takeshi's Castle only ran for like five, six years before it just stopped for some reason. Oh god, that's loud. No, no, no. Need a flipping... Turn it down. There we go. Ah, oh, Craig doing his poetry there. Yeah, he actually used to be a poet before he did Red Dwarf. Um, Craig, that made no sense. Yay! Wah! And lightning strikes to Geshi's Castle. Yeah, that's it. Ah, oh, another one with the honeycomb maze. So, there seems to be added graphics to the replays. Um, yeah, everything seems a bit more fast-paced. What the hell? <laughs> you go the wrong way, woman. Why do they replay it over and over again? Okay, yeah, this is starting to remind me a bit of Splatterlot. Yeah, you know Splatterlot, you know, it was basically the children's version of Wipeout because it had Dick and Dom. And not that Splatterlot's bad or anything, it's just, it's just for kids. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh god, this is li- Okay, this is literally turning into a gangbang now. Oh god, how is this even legal? Oh god, she's weeping her eyes out. She just cannot believe what she's just been in. We're nearly there. Come on, open the damn door. <laughs> oh, come on. That's so... Just bite him. Bite him. Oh, this is gruesome. Oh, don't say that, Craig. Oh my god. Isis are clearly cheating in this game. Uh, Takeshi, I I'm very sure you didn't mean any wrong there, but... Yeah, that's a bit questionable. <laughs> Oh, jeez! <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Replay is now called Craig's Ridiculous Replay. Oh, but this is wonderful. I bet you anything, if the third episode that I watch is going to have the honeycomb maze in, I will eat my dog. Okay, this is literally the royal ascot only. It actually makes sense. Yay. So that's... What was that? I can't tell because of this bloody resolution. Oh my god. Sure, they could have gotten rid of the Japanese narrator. Because the Japanese narrator is a little bit irritating. Because I'm trying to listen to Craig. But at the same time, I've got the Japanese narrator in my ear. At least they've got no cheerleaders this time. <laughs> the ridiculous replay just makes it even better. Oh, this is wonderful. 
Finally, we've got a nostalgia video that I'm really, really enjoying. Uh, was that meant to be a sexual innuendo, Craig? Yeah, this is literally just Japanese people just falling over now. What the hell was that freaking sound effect? Yeah, this is why I don't particularly like Japanese culture, because it's just a bit too weird for my liking. Like, when it's at the perfect level weird, then, you know, it's really funny and comedy gold, but... But then it just gets too weird, and then... What the hell's this? Oh my god, I know you. You're that Islamic State bloke. Hey, Islamic State have fallen. Thank fuck for that. Okay, this is better presentation. It's actually not cutting everywhere. It's actually giving you time to look at what's just happened. Uh, yeah, that's it. Good IQ <laughs> I like how Takeshi's actually, you know, sort of supporting the contestants before they get battered, which is nice. What the fuck is this? What's this? What? what? Okay. Uh, what? I don't know what's going on. How did he go through? Okay, so are they literally trying to grab the baseball? Okay. What the hell's going on? <laughs> Oh, if this would be a lot more funny if there wasn't fucking Japanese kids laughing in the background. Shut up, you stupid Japanese kids. I like how they need, like, a group of people just to find out where the ball went. Because this is just mad. Uh, Craig, you do realise that this is kind of a kids show? Don't mention the Clockwork Orange. Okay, this is literally a load of people just falling over in large, ridiculous costumes. <laughs> Uh, I like how people just seem so proud of themselves, like they did a good thing for once. Look at me, Ma, I just caught a ball. Now, do you love me? Poles apart. Oh yeah, it's this one again. Uh, hold on, is this a different setting? I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> no, he can't. Ah, Craig Charles. He's making this video funny, so I don't have to. This is impossible, surely. Like, that, that landing beam is just so small and so far away. You need to be, like, a really tall person to do this. Mate, you're not tall enough. Oh, for God's sake, you again? Oh, my God, someone actually done something. Oh, I know that Japanese word. Go. Okay, this is literally the dodgeball game from Wipeout, only on a bridge. This is much better than Wipeout. Like, okay, no disrespect, Rich Hammond, but you are not a good Wipeout presenter. But no one is a good Wipeout presenter. Actually, no, I've just had a brainwave. Craig Charles hosting Wipeout. I wish Craig Charles can really host everything. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, I have a feeling this guy's going to win at the end of the bloody show because he's been in, like, literally every single game. Unless he falls off, like, straight away. Please say he does because that t-shirt is actually really pissing me off. Hooray, he failed. <laughs> the Japanese just laughed at someone getting hit on their ass. Okay, he's literally using his anus as a shield. Surely that can't work. Oh my god. This is. This is actually going to work. <laughs> wow, he is the best anus ever. Yeah, my auntie is a man. <laughs> it's the sound effects that makes everything... Oh, for God's sake, why is that Islamic State person still in this? What the hell's this? The Furious flashback? Yeah, this is literally just looking back at what the hell's just happened. Yeah, what, what just happened, I don't know, but I'm loving every minute of it. Showdown, finally, but there's only like a minute left, so I'm guessing that this is going to be very, very quick. For God's sake, why is there like seven million guards facing two contestants? That's just completely unfair. Oh, that's it. Um... Uh, you agree to what? Craig, I didn't understand what he was saying. Like, if there was, like, subtitles or something or other, then who knows, maybe that would have made sense. But no, what the fuck was that all about? Did Craig even know what Takeshi was saying there? Because I bet you anything that he didn't. You know, like, I bet you anything. If Takeshi said, I love eating kittens in his own language, I don't think Craig would have agreed. Right, time for another episode. Bong! Yeah, yeah. I'm here. Yeah, no, no, not telly, my laptop. <laughs> Good use of alliteration there, Craig. Oh, it's not honeycomb maze anymore, it's square maze. Okay, 
At least they've changed things up a bit. And I don't have to eat my dog now. Yeah, I completely agree with you there, what you just said. Anyway, slippery wall. What the hell's that? What the hell? Why was there a bullet sound effect there? Yeah, Craig, I agree. Oh, God, why is everyone trying to cheat? Okay, so this is Square Maze. It's literally Honeycomb Maze, only not as nice to look at. Hmm, I have a slight feeling that this was filmed before they decided to put in the Honeycomb Maze instead, because this feels like a step backwards from the Honeycomb Maze. Uh, what the hell? Did that man just do the wanker sign? I think he just did. <laughs> well, that was just a waste of bloody time. Oh, nice bra. What's a wazak? I've never heard that phrase before. It must be Scouser's talk or something. Oh my god, a woman done something! Yeah, it would be nice if Craig actually gave us a brief description on what each games are. Oh god, that looks horrible. <laughs> but it would look really funny if a toddler did that. Wait, the shiitake? Wait, is that what the moat's called? Shiitake? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely shiitake. Yeah, Craig, are you making the stuff up now? Before you said just a minute ago that this is a family-friendly program. What the hell's this? Yeah, you're gonna give me the description? No? Okay, so Knock Knock is literally deal or no deal, only with no money involved, and instead of using your hands, you use your face. I'm okay with that. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't say dislocation as soon as the replay comes up, Craig. Is that it? Has he won? No. How many doors are there? Oh my god, now has he won? Yes, he has. Okay, for a moment I thought that game was going to go on forever. Um, my name is Speck. <laughs> Sorry, I just imagined his pole being his willy. Yes, I'm very dirty minded. What do you mean it's a family show? She didn't do anything wrong, did she? Remember what I said about, you know, it would be nice to see some background on the contestants? Actually, you know what, I've changed my mind on that. Because it's actually nice to, you know, see the contestants that are going to completely fail. Just see them for what they are. Just battering rams. Oh, Sumo rings us back. Wonderful. Is this how Sumo works? Okay, yeah, this is... This is really violent. I don't like this. Oh, they've got women guards. No wonder this program has a 21st century cult following. My god, why do the guards just suddenly bash the bloody person who loses? I get they should be humiliated, but Jesus, are they trying to murder the loser? If this woman loses, I'm going to burst out laughing. Ah, ah, ah. Nappy man. Nappy man. <laughs> Craig, don't be so sumoist. Just run away. Just run away. That's what I would do. Like, seriously, why would you even bother? Ah, oh, Bridge Ball's back. Um, oh, okay, this is different. And it appears to be filmed during a typhoon. Hmm, I think the bridge is slightly less wobbly. Okay, maybe I take that back. Oh my god! Um, yeah, I was just about to say, someone is finally doing the crawling method. Clearly, that's quite a lethal method, so maybe I was wrong. It feels just so much more adventurous, so much more wackier than Wipeout's. Like wipeouts all just flipping modern and a bit mundane, you have to say. Yeah, it's a bit funny in some parts, but all in all, it's just a bit meh. Use your anus as a shield, it works! Okay, yeah, maybe use your back as a shield. Theo yeah, splashback, uh, yeah, splash, splash, and splash. And why is Cray screaming, oh, look at that? We already looked at it, like, five minutes ago. Okay, showdown. Let's watch a few people not win a million yen. What the hell? Okay, so they're using... Dolphins? No, they're not dolphins, they're fucking whales. Oh, pirate ships now. Okay, so let me get this straight. Do the players actually try and defeat the guards by putting whatever that is through their paper ring or something? Hey, it's a person from the West. Oh my god, shut up about the sexual innuendos, Craig. Right, so the castle is now on fire. Is that what happens when a contestant wins? Oh, no one has one. Uh, no, Craig. I think that's a Red Dwarf quote. Right, I think I will leave this here. So, what have we learnt? Well, we've learnt that Takeshi's Castle is still brilliant. And it would be nice if we had something similar come back. Because, obviously, Takeshi's a bit, well, a bit old and a bit frail to do this now. So, it would be nice to have someone 
Yeah, I'm trying to think of any famous Japanese people that might suit this show, but the thing is, I don't know any Japanese people. <laughs> oh, I feel so uneducated. Um, yeah, that was fun. I mean, yes, it has some flaws. It would be nice to have some subtitles to see what the Japanese people are actually saying, because, you know, who knows, maybe what they're saying is actually funny. And it would be nice if they got rid of the Japanese narrator instead. And it would be nice if the showdown was a little bit easier. And I know that's a really weird thing to say, because I know the showdown is meant to be difficult, but... Right, you know what? I'm going to find out how many people have actually won Takeshi's Castle. Um... Yeah, yeah, the winner got... There are eight winners. Eight fucking winners. Jesus Christ, I thought Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is a difficult game show. Da da da.